Good morning, guys and gals. And thank you for coming by another spider ride. You know, I was gonna look up the number and I looked it up. I think it's spider ride 47 or 48. I'll text it in. When I make the final footage, I gotta sit down. Thank you for coming by. Life with Yosef, this is your host as always, Joe. It is the 19th of January of 2023. It is the, I don't know what, how many years it's been, anniversary of my late brother Kurt's passing. It was three years ago today that the fire irrevocably altered the, our, our, our destinations in life. And, um, I'm filming this from in front of Shady Pines because the, um, the head of food service here, Beth, her last day was today and I wanted to ride to the front, walk in, so I didn't have to hike over Hell's Half Acre and then, you know, talk to her briefly. She, she and her crew r really treated me well. Um, she's not the only one leading Shady Pines. Uh, my wife and I are as well. Uh, my wife, in a long story, a very long story short, that's her secret to tell, not mine. She needs more care than Shady Pines is staffed or licensed for. So my wife, right before New Year's, left and is now in a, they call it assisted living, but it's more assisted than here, but not exactly a board and care, though that's what I really think it is and it's not a nursing home. There's a lot more long and involved uh, about this, but she is in Stanislaw County. So I have signed to arrive. I'm renting a room. I signed the contract last week. I'm going to rent a room in Modesto about 15 minutes away from her. And uh, we're not going to live together for the, for, for the foreseeable future. I have a lot to do here to get this place cleaned up and 1-800-GOT-JUNK is going to certainly be by. So I am going to go for a ride today because I, I'm having a real struggle internally and I think it's about time to, to get some wind therapy. It was supposed to be, it was nice yesterday, it was supposed to rain yesterday and it's kind of overcast here, but I'm going to go ahead and go. I made reservations. Um, for the Motel 6, uh, not exactly in, in Colinga, though it has a Colinga address. It's right on Highway 5 where, where Harris Ranch is, for those of you who have made the incredibly long slog up and down Interstate 5 to and from the Los Angeles and Los Angeles Basin and Southern California. So, there we go. Three minutes in. I'm going to get the bike fired up, I'm going to get gas, I'm going to run a couple stops. You'll see them when I get there, and we'll see what's next. First picture stop of the day about 12.45 in the afternoon finds us at Mossdale at the Mossdale Crossing or the Mossdale Y W-Y-E that's a railroad term for a division point that's shaped like a triangle um, 
We're taught that the Transcontinental Railroad was finished with the Golden Spike in Promontory, Utah in 1869, but that's not necessarily accurate because that ended up in Sacramento the rest of the way to the Bay Area and San Francisco Bay took place here in September of 1869 when the when the bridge here uh, the railroad bridge here at Mossdale was finished spanning the San Joaquin River so this in a more thorough definition is where the Transcontinental Railroad from St. Joseph's, Missouri, all the way to the West Coast, actually was finished. So Lathrop, the town we're in, was planted in 1868 when the railroad came, and it's the maiden name of Leland Stanford Sr., whose late son, Leland Stanford Jr., is who the university's named after. Um, there's also a boat here, uh, the, the Comet sailed up and landed here in the 1840s, even before the gold rush, and they settled at New Hope, which is kind of at the north end of San Joaquin County, um, uh, along the Stanislaw River. No, some, you, no, you know, retract that. Um, New Hope is up away, so I may have to look at that a little closer. Now, and nevertheless, here's where we are, and we'll see what's next. Okay, here we go. The Comet was the first known sail boat to come up the San Joaquin River from San Francisco. It landed here in 1846. I guess there's more than one New Hope. But this uh, this one was founded on uh, on the uh, on the Stanislaw River. They drove oxen and mules from Marcius Landing, which is now Antioch, all the way out here. And the first ferry on the San Joaquin River opened up here shortly after. So 1846, pre-gold rush, 20 Mormon pioneers invaders depending on your point of view i know i beat this one to death anyway there's a little bit more importance here than i thought in the first place um i recommend uh, often a uh, uh jeff and sarah who host history hunters and he was out here uh, uh a bit ago a year or two maybe and he did a really nice they did a really nice piece on mossdale which if I remember, I'll link to in the comments or in the description. So, and I'm also here because I noticed the vast improvement in definition and shakiness with the GoPro handheld than with the Sony or, or, or the Canon actual little camcorder that I had before. The quality of this a GoPro is just so much better, so. If you think, hey, weren't you here two years ago? I was, and hopefully this is a little bit better footage. And we're gonna see what's next. I'm at the DMV and Tracy, I needed to pay my registration. I'm a little late, so here you go. We won't get pulled over and we'll see what's next.
Our next stop of the day finds us in Banta, which is in San Joaquin County, California. Banta predates the railroad as it used to be called San Joaquin City. I'm sorry, the village of San Joaquin Valley in the 1840s and was the last stage stop uh, uh, for uh, for the horses and the wagons to go over the Altamont. Um, the railroad came in 1868 or 1869. The Banta Inn, 1869. The Banta Inn was founded in 1879. And when I was, when I lived out here with my wife the first time, there was a scandal here at the Banta Inn because they, they, Oh no, I'm talking on here, thank you. Uh, they, uh, they had slot machines in here. So, I'm gonna get back on the bike. I was rambling trying to read this and I just will, uh, I'll overdub on some road footage about Banta. Banta used to be on, uh, if there's any more, Banta used to be on the, the Lincoln Highway until 1915 when it got routed to, uh, to 11th Street through Tracy. U.S. 48, U.S. 50, and now Business Interstate 205. So this uh, uh, Jay Brigetto building was uh, built in 1911. People still live in Banta. Uh, the school is now a church. You kind of look across the way and you can see the church or the school. Now it's a church. So... It's about 2.15 in the afternoon, and we're going to press on and, and see what's next. If there's any more to talk about Banta, I'll dub it in. Our next stop of the day finds us on State Highway 33, California 33, and Durham Ferry Road in the hamlet of Vernalis, which is an unincorporated little hamlet in San Joaquin County on the San Joaquin River. Now this, I was looking for George's Auto Service. I've got pictures, a picture of it that I should be able to to, uh, to pip in and then I'm going to show a little bit of, of a film from when Marie and I were here a few years ago. Stop at our little drive today find us in Vernalis on California 33 we're in front of Georgia service. You can see that this used to be a busy busy place along Highway 33 especially before Interstate 5 was built when the main west side north south highway was in fact California 33 which ran from Manteca all the way down to Ventura County. It's a beautiful day. Well, as you can see now, I'm pretty sure this is the place. Um, though everything is gone, certainly George's is gone, the building next door is gone, the building behind is gone. These um, flashing warning lights of the stop sign or what clued me into this. Um, I rode by here even the first day I bought the bike wanting to take pictures of George's and it's not here and I, you know, I just didn't figure it out until I actually sat uh, last night and 
I looked at my old film. I looked at Google Earth, and I looked at Google Map, uh, a Google uh, Google Street, and I'm pretty sure it's you know, it was here. So, Georgia's used to be a nice little stop. It was at one time very popular to have your car fixed. Uh, prior to Interstate Five, this is the <laughs> this was the West Side Highway. So, Interstate Five killed uh, uh, a lot of this. We're pressing on and we'll see what's next. Here's my panda, orange chicken, honey walnut shrimp, and the fried rice. It's not quite as much as I usually get, but you can see the uh, they're uh, pretty empty today. Roughly four o'clock in the afternoon or so. I'm in Santa Nella. I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to continue down on Interstate Five and get to where we're going. So we'll see what's next. I'm gonna wrap up uh, yesterday's ride this morning. I'm at the uh, Motel 6 in Colinga, which is in Fresno County, California. Um, the um, Best Western next to door was literally 70 more dollars a night. And I just, I, I, I like staying at nicer places a bit, but that was just a pill I wasn't willing to swallow. So, um, I'll do the room and stuff when I leave on, on Sunday. Yesterday's ride was 166.2 miles. I averaged 29.4 MPG. I did ride fast at, at the end. My high speed was 89. My average was up, um, 43. 
it's almost noon i'm gonna get a little something to eat and then i, I need to get fuel and then i'm gonna start my day so we'll see what's next